Hello everyone. So in this video, we will talk about the Beta FPV Pavo 20 and how, how I connected this to an FPV remote controller 2 and FPV remote controller 3. Actually, I already made a video about it and unfortunately, when I was encoding it and uploading it to YouTube, most of the Beta Flight video is unusable some people do complain that it's you cannot see any of the details from better flight so we will try to do it again just to to show you on how i did my settings and at the same time you uh, we will update this since we already got the fpv remote controller 3 they are similar in some ways i better to make an updated video about it so let's go let's do it in this video Okay, so this is the Beta FB Pavo 20. Some of you might be surprised. What happened to my Pavo 20? It is actually converted to a freestyle frame. and But everything is still the same. Same uh, flight controller, same motors. Okay, different, of course, a different propeller. And everything else is the same. Basically the same. I just reprinted some of the parts to, to help in this build but what you want to uh, focus now is the settings on better flight so first you have to get your usb type c connector uh, i still do not like this but we don't have an option <laughs> okay so first things first we have to connect our Flight controller to our computer. Okay, this is an old beta flight firmware. I haven't updated my firmware for a long time now because I haven't flown any of this quad. So please bear with me. I just want to show you how I set up my Pavo 20 for this DJI system. Okay, so first is let's go with setup. So nothing here. Ports tab. Okay. Now, uh, if you want to use your FPV remote controller 2 or FPV remote controller 3, you have to set your UART 5. So this is my FPV remote controller. Okay, so if you want to connect it with this, okay, so you have to adjust your UART 5 and put it a serial rx disabled telemetry sensors input is disabled peripherals is disabled as well okay uh if you are using elrs you're probably using uart 3 it is probably the one that is enabled for your device but for our case since we'll be using a dji system we need the s bus terminal which is uart 5 in our flight controller okay next would be if okay for example you are using pavo pico i mean i uh, just put some fan okay so you have to use uart 6 for this case okay for our purpose of pavo 20 it's uart 5 okay next configuration here this is my system this is how i set this up uh, I, I disabled most of this, especially air mode. Uh, I enabled OSD and LED strip. Since I'm using this custom frame, uh, you can disable the LED strip. But if you're using the default Pavo 20 frame and you're using an LED light, enable this option. GPS, I turned it off because I don't have a GPS. Okay. Accelerometer, barometer is turned on as well. So board and sensor alignment, you just do this, adjust this if you're using a different frame. Try not to touch this if you're using the stock. Okay. I enabled RX loss so that the, the, the motors will beep when uh, it loses a signal. RX set, there's also a beep when I set it up as a beep button on our remote controller next everything here is disabled so i did not turn on anything but if you need some of this beef deeper configuration you could set that up power and battery i adjusted my warning cell voltage i think it's 3.8 for now 
it's up to you. Uh, I just gave I gave myself some leeway or some room to know that there's still a amount of battery left on this, so that if I'm flying a bit far, I know that hey, I need to go back. So I still have more room before the battery will be drained because when you reach 3.6 and below sometimes the the drop in voltage is drastic so i just put it 3.54 you know so the voltage will be 3.4 presets no i didn't touch this this is my feed tuning you can screenshot this i haven't touched any of this uh rates and profile my pin tunes is here this is the same for i haven't I, I believe if you receive your unit from beta fp this will be your pin tuning as well but in case you forgot or you lost it here it is so hopefully you could this could help you my rate profile is default at actual it's 70 for all of my center sensitivity max rate 670 x0 okay throttle limit off Throttle limit percent 100, expo 0.3, throttle mid is 0.65. Filter settings, I haven't touched this. This is my default settings for filter. Now, for receiver, you have to, che to check if you're using serial via UART. Okay, this is our option for the S bus. And of course, you have to change your zero receiver provider. If you're using ELRS, you'd be using crossfire but since we want to use the FB remote controller 3 or, or, or 2 use SBUS telemetry I turn this off RSI is off channel is AETR1234 okay the rest is default modes this is my this is where it's get it could change depending on how you use your controller but for me so my aux 3 would be where is the aux 3 yeah this is the aux 3 which is for arm this is my arm switch arm switch okay my aux 1 would be this okay for angle and horizon mode now for beeper this would be the aux 2 okay so aux 2 and flip then this is the uh, the last switch would be none uh, it's normal next is air mode so this is air mode the start and stop okay and of course this is reserved for video so that is our settings for the FUB remote controller for motors it's quad x i adjusted this because i i changed my setup i reordered the motors here don't touch it if you're using the default pavo 20 and motor stop disabled and ESC center is off OSD up to you how you change this this is how I set up mine I just turned on the only difference is I turned on HD for the video format okay because the uh, the O3 air unit supports HD for the uh, OSD video transfer I didn't touch this so that is our video <laughs> okay, so that is the video for the Beta FB Pavo 20 setup for Beta Flight. Since I do apologize for that old video wherein the, the encoding of the, the footage is quite bad. Hopefully this one, you will clearly see how I set up the Beta Flight of the Pavo 20. So, I hope this video helped you with regards to your settings. And as always, see you on the next one. Happy flying. Take care.